And hello everybody, I'm Theodore and today we want to continue on the parallel fleet, fleet and cuvette flow. <coughs> In the last video we have successfully uh, created an all clean script and just to recap, we have, uh, we have just effectively copied and pasted some of the other open form files and try and uh, do our own all clean script which works for this cavity system and yeah so the thing is that we use a ch mod file a ch mod and i'll try and find that ch mod command i used yeah is it this ch mod here no that, that actually means to change the permissions to read write and execute so that's why it turns into a green color script where you can execute now now we have changed it to execute we Realize that running that uh, running a clean case on this uh, all clean script now that works. Now we want to first and foremost, excuse me, first and foremost, copy this cavity file. So we're going to copy this cavity file using the cp space dash ar command, and we want to copy it to a cuvette which is basically the parallel plate flow so we have a uh, working file that you know now we can work with so as uh, discussed before oopsie i'm uploading video here don't mind that yeah as usual as before you want to make the left wall and the right wall you know sort of empty and the top wall we just leave it as it is so that we have the cuvette flow that we want now we go here so we go to the cuvette flow and first thing first we want to check our geometry so that uh, geometry file helps us find our boundaries you know, define our boundaries uh, and how what shape our case is supposed to be like and also you know how finely you divide it so let's go to system oops wrong one q so let's see the system and let's go to block mesh tick and this is our geometry file now all these numbers may look a bit confusing now but do not worry we can uh, take it one step at a time okay Hmm. So, what do we see here? We have a scale. Don't worry about it. We have vertices. We have blocks, and then we have boundaries. Ah, the boundaries are what we are really sort of interested in. And then we see, okay, we have a moving wall, which is nice of the tutorial people to tell us that it is a moving wall. Then we have fixed walls, and then we have the front and back. And let's just explain this part so we will understand just enough to change all these boundaries to what we want so what is this uh, moving wall well this moving wall here well yeah it, it, it tells the code that this is the name of uh, your boundary so when you are when you're typing boundary here <coughs> and then you type this bracket over here so you type this boundary and this bracket then the code will start to ask what boundaries are you talking about what boundaries are you talking about so first you have to name your boundary so this is the name of the boundary called moving wall and the type is a wall of course and these are its faces so you have a face we have an entry with some numbers here and then you have a closed bracket semicolon and another closed clearly black bracket and um, what does this tell you? What are these numbers? Well, if you actually look up, if you look up to this uh, blocks entry, you can see the numbers are put here. Hex 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the points that these uh, are referring to. And then this is like the, this 2021 20, here refers to the dimensions of the file. So that means 20 in the x direction, 
20 in the y direction maybe one in the z direction hmm. yeah so this okay this doesn't tell you the dimensions actually yeah this tells you how to mesh your file that's why it's called block mesh it gives you both the geometry and the meshing information so this is meshing information you want 20 20 meshes in the x direction 20 mesh in the y direction the y direction one mesh in the z direction this simple grading we'll just ignore it for now that's for a little more advanced stuff but um, yeah so it chops the x coordinate the x pro x direction into 20 blocks equally using this these settings that you see here 20 in the y direction okay so let's take a look hmm yeah, so your x your x direction is the horizontal, the y is the vertical, the z is in and out of the page. You can see that this distance here, this distance here is 0 0.1 meters. Okay. But it's a square shape of course. So let's take a look back. Uh let's take a look at the vertices. Now, you might be asking. What are the coordinates of this 0, 1, 2, 3, and all that kind of thing? Well, if you list these vertices here, you list these vertices here, you have some coordinates x, y, and z. There's a 0, 0, and 0. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, blah, 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 blah. So you have these uh, blocks. So if these, um, this is your first set of coordinates, an open form will be wondering. Okay, how how are you going to name this first set of coordinates? Well, if you use this hex entry here, the first coordinate here, can you see what I'm highlighting? The 0, 0, 0 coordinate will be named 0. And then the first coordinate will be named 1. The second coordinate, uh, okay. The coordinate, the third coordinate, or the this, this one I'm highlighting will be named 2. This will be named 3, this will be named 4, and this is 5, this is 6, this is 7. This is because you ordered you ordered the points in this uh, in this fashion. Or rather the original coders uh, orientated this in this direction. So when you see these numbers here, let's say you see 3 here for example. So you are telling uh, open form to look for this point 3. Is this point 3? So this point 3 is the fourth from the top. So it's 0, 1, 2, and 3. So this point 3 refers to the point x equals 0, y equals 1, z equals 0. And uh, so you see this wall? This is uh, the top wall. So to define the wall, you need four points. Right? To define a flat plane, you need like four points. So this is one, which is the this one, 0, 1, 0. Then point 7, which is the last one. Here is 0, 1, 0 0.1. This is point 6, 1, 1, and 0 0.1. This is point 2, 1, 1, and 0. Yeah. And so, let me take a look. We have 3, 7, 6, and 2. And what, are these, what do these uh, coordinates have in common? So, 0, 1, 0, that's number 3. 7 is 0, 1, 0 0.1. That's number 7. 1, 1, and 0 0.1. That is uh, point 6. And then we have number 2 which is here 1 1 and 0 now what do we notice about all these these all have a y coordinate of 1 so you see 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 all have a coordinate of y coordinate of 1 and since we have the, the geometry such that <coughs> well at the y coordinate of 1 this actually represents the top plane okay so you see, this boundary here, which is the top moving wall, has the top plane. 
three, seven, six, and two. Now you don't only just uh, have this as one of your faces. You can actually define many faces here. So you have zero, four, seven, three. And what is that? Yeah, zero, four, seven, three. So let's take a look at point zero, point four, point seven, and point three. So point zero is here. Point four is here. Point three is here. So zero, three, four, and seven. What do these have in common? All their x coordinates are zero. So if their x coordinates is zero, where is it at? It is on the left wall. So, how do we make a comment that is on the left wall? So, let's take a look. How to make comments. How to make comments in open form file. So, you see? You look at this. How we make comments, we just go to this website. We'll have this double forward slash. So it's very similar to the hashtag idea where we make comments. So this uh, 0473, let's just call it, we'll do the insert here. This is the, what face is it? This is the left side because all the coordinates are zero. Now what is 2, 6, 5 and 1? So let's put forward slash double forward slash okay double forward slash a two six five one two that's one here number six that'll be one here number five this will be one here number one this will be the one here what do all these have in common one 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 and one on their x coordinate is equal to one so this is actually the right side. This is the right side. And what is this then? This has to be the bottom side. So let's check if it's really the bottom side. So let's take a look at point one. So that's one one zero and number five because it says one five four zero, right? One five four zero one five four and zero so let's take a look at one and number five which is here one five four and zero so look at this one five four and zero are the only coordinates where the y coordinate is zero so that is the bottom wall this is the bottom side okay so now we have uh, identified how to uh, look at the sites in uh, open form at least we identify the sites so you see this is the top side obviously and let's take a look at one more this is called the front and back. So which one is the front, which one is the back? So 0, 3, 2, 1. 0, 1, 2, and 3. All these are Z coordinate equals to 0. And then this one, Z coordinate equals 0 0.1. So that will show you which one is the front and which one is the back depending on where the z is angled to but for us it doesn't matter because we are only doing a 2d so this uh, video shows you how to identify the sites so we know what we want to change just saying thanks for watching i'll see you guys again bye bye